give him a round of applause. Started. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. So, uh, if you feel it's a little bit, I I speak a little bit uh, soft, so you can come closer. Okay. So uh, before I start, maybe I need to make a, a selfie picture first with you guys. Uh, I want to send to my wife that I am still working. <laughs> okay, so say cheese. Uh, come in. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, I will send to her later. Okay. So uh, my name is Quang. I'm from Vietnam. Uh, a little bit about myself. I'm kind of developer, a maker. Uh, nobody. <laughs> okay, I think. Uh, yesterday I got a lot of problem with the internet connection here, so I need to get a SIM card and I, I got the internet connection from here for my device. Uh, so, uh, uh, Besides that, I also uh, try to uh, speak in some community uh, speak, uh, event. Uh, I speak more about Azure and software development. Uh, so I'm thinking about uh, I'm speaking on the wrong track for today because here is more about hardware, right? But I'm telling more about software. And I'm also a community uh, event organizer in Vietnam. I organize kind of event like Agile to XP Day, uh, Extreme Programming, something. Uh, and uh, my main job is about Agile coach for a company named Deck Technology. Okay, uh, so have you heard about Vietnam? Who, yes. who ever been traveled to Vietnam? Who not yet? Not yet. Okay, so I show you a video about Vietnam. So. That you can imagine. So very flexible, self-organized, self-disciplined. Okay. So here is our daily daily life. So I need to deal with it uh, every morning and every uh, afternoon. Okay. Uh, and oops, sorry, girls. Okay. <laughs> so who's under eighteen? Because it's quite sensitive. <laughs> That's too <true>. sorry, girls. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, so my topic, the previous name, are you killing Jenkins? But actually, I will show you uh, more about bu building a continuous integration culture for the, for your software team. Uh, so, have you heard about continuous integration? Okay, that's good. That's good for me. So, uh, the first level, I would say, like put CI in place first. So, uh, in theory, uh, continuous integration was called by Ken Beck at a part of Extreme Programming. Uh, so, he said uh, you need to integrate uh, your code. Uh, to the into the main line, and you need to do it several times a day, and the in uh, it should be verified by automated test and detect the error the error early the bug early, so the early you find the bugs the cheaper uh, you spend for that bug to be fixed. Okay, that's the idea, and. Uh, so it's come to the uh, the loop about development, compile and test, and integration and test more and integration more, right? So we need to change uh, the developer mindset a little bit. So it's not it's not it's should not it's a, a software development practice, right? And it should. The developers always need to think about it, and you, you need to. Uh, it's a part of the <coughs> development, and you cannot separate it. Okay. 
So uh, some good practice actually uh, for this one I steal from it, the internet. They have more items, but I remove uh, quite a lot. I just skip some uh, that are valuable and easy to practice. So you maintain a uh, um, single uh, single source of repository of your code. So uh, I'm still a fan of Subversion, not Git because uh, I feel that the branching in Git is too complicated, okay? Because I still refer single, uh, single <coughs> repository. Uh, and commit, the team commit uh, the course more often, push more often, uh, always integrate, and the green, the green lines uh, is always on. Uh, even when you run your unit test, it should be passed uh, and fixed. Uh, the bug immediately when it's broken and always improve. So uh, this is the idea. Uh, some good practice that uh, have you to be off uh, a good uh, continuous, uh, continuous integration. And who know this guy? Yeah. Who know this guy? <laughs> okay. Jenkins. Who know Jenkins? Okay, <laughs> so this is uh, uh, Jenkins in Ninja version. Okay, <laughs> they have just uh, there's a guy in in Japan. He uh, he he in charge of uh, drawing every icon for Jenkins, and uh, this is uh, the new outlook of Jenkins. Okay, uh, so a lot of team using Jenkins. Uh, get the Jenkins uh, involved in their development life cycle, but uh, a lot of people hate him, they kill him. So who's here create your email filter for Jenkins message? Wow, thank you. Okay, <laughs> so give him a big hand. <laughs> so actually, a lot of people are doing that. Right. So who is the developer? Okay. Do you create filter for Jenkins? No? Do you have Jenkins? Okay. That's so, good. That's good. Uh, That's good. Before, then, uh, we to Team City. Team City. No, do you filter the Team City message? Uh, actually, uh, the guy who, who set up Team City, he doesn't make Team City to send our email. Okay. He disabled, he disabled <laughs> Team City, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's the idea. So a lot of team involve the CI uh, systems, uh, and after that they filter the message. So they didn't get the error uh, message early, and they did, didn't fix the bug early. So that's mean. Uh, so that that's mean the queue changing, right? So uh, to overcome this problem, uh, so we create uh, a device named Hate. We call it Hate. So this uh, device will tell uh, the developer only two messages. Hey, your code is great. Hey, your code is suck. Okay, that is two messages. And here is our first version. Okay, it's quite big. And we hang it on a pole. Uh, and we run it with a raspberry pi, a raspberry pi and a bunch of uh, relay. So uh, it's quite uh, complicated and expensive. So around 100 US dollar, maybe more, for one system like this and just one team using. And um, after using this for one year, and we come up with the new version. So here you can see a new version. Uh, so it's lightweight. I can bring it here and uh, portable, configurable, and plug and play. No. Uh, okay, and it's look much better. So uh, uh, we we plan um, maybe in within this year we can uh, improve it a, it's a little bit, and we can publish this, uh, as a uh, open source as well, uh, open hardware and the source code as well. So uh, within uh, this device, we use a very cheap. Uh, uh, Chip inside, uh, so this is uh, ESP A266, and this is four US dollar chip, so you can fire it easily. So in Vietnam, maybe it's, 
is a little bit cheaper, maybe 3.5, because we import it from China. The quality is not so perfect, but it's still uh, acceptable. Uh, and it already have Wi-Fi inside. So for this, we connect uh, to my Jenkins system via Wi-Fi. Uh, and this is the first prototype that we did. So the team tried to make it, try to visualize it uh, by paper. Uh, they put one LED inside. It's not so fancy. And here is the, uh, the main board. They, they try to visualize the main board actually on that on that version, that is the first version, and it has two layers of, of the circuit board. Um, and for this one, they improve it, and we combine two circuit boards into one uh, single circuit board, and it's much better inside. Uh, but I, I don't want to show inside. Okay, here is the first version. It looks quite ugly. So the second version is much better. Okay, and the LED, the second. Uh, and uh, we use uh, our, uh, we build uh, a 3D printer by ourselves as well, and we print out the box for for this device, and we use uh, the laser cut uh, machine uh, that I borrow from my friend to cut the top of uh, of the device. Uh, uh, they are all uh, open hardware as well, so you can you can find the design from the internet. Try to get the common cut from with the la uh, laser cut machine, and you can buy some motor and some uh, wiring, and you can make it. So we built this printer for I think two weeks with five person. Okay, uh, and here is. Uh, the device, okay. And uh, after we have the device, so uh, we try to create a culture that the team should use uh, this device properly and have fun with it. So we create uh, a rule. Uh, we name it thirty minute uh, rule. So it means somebody broke the bill. He need to fix it within thirty minutes. Okay, so if not, uh, they will, uh, he or she need to do 20 of push up. So they have, the, so our developer is very strong, actually. Okay, and additionally, uh, they uh, contribute uh, something to the team building fund of the company as well. We have the box, uh, and they put some money in and we can uh, use it for some uh, activity of the team. Okay, the team uh, decide to use it by, them, uh, by their way. Okay, and uh, last but not least, I will make some demo how, how to use it. Okay, uh, so uh, this one is portable, so it has a little hole in here, and it's like your Wi-Fi router. So you can use a pen or some small thing to press the button, small button inside, and so that this device will be reset. And uh, you can uh, see the web config like this. You can config, uh, you can connect to it and <coughs> see the web config like this. You choose your Wi-Fi connection and uh, the Jenkins uh, URL, and in here. We, uh, each device can serve a five different uh, uh, Jenkins job. So you just fill in the job name, and after that you save, and the device after that is uh, already configured, and this can work uh, with your project. Okay. Uh, so I is so in here I write a little bit uh, call. So it just calculate the BMI, for example. So in here, if I uh, modify something in here, and for example, I change this uh, to zero, and I run the test, and it's red. So if I commit this uh, to, I also have, let me see, okay. So here is the Jenkins system that I built. 
and it have the project here now the code is perfect so uh, I try to commit this file okay it's right here okay make it fail and let's see so my Jenkins is start as you press the Jenkins it start building and the, uh, the device start flashing so it fell okay that's one is I think okay <laughs> okay so it makes some noise as well and if uh, the team didn't fix uh, the the fail bill so it will alarm every 10 minutes so the team need to pay attention to fix the bill so right now it's fail and I yeah, I have 30 minutes to fix, and maybe I should do some <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, I have only 25 minutes. Okay. So. You fix this in the louder for noise. Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, our team is not so big. So, X team have around 5 to 10 people. So, they just like sit in the corner so uh the, this kind of sound is enough for them uh, yeah already enough to to uh to bother them okay make it break again, break again. <laughs> okay <laughs> good idea okay i pulls so that's that is uh, must something wrong with it. It's running too fast. Okay, let's see if this one is okay. It's building. So I put the uh, the code. Uh, this my sing uh, my symbol code to GitHub, and when I whenever I push, uh, GitHub will call to my Jenkins uh, to trigger a build and this uh, will flashing so for that device i don't trust it maybe something wrong with it okay so now it's break again okay uh so that's we are nearly there so uh for who uh using jenkin so for one plugin that is very important for me that is uh blue ball it's been default Jenkins using the uh, the blue ball, but I refer green ball. So it's much better. For, it makes sense for me. So for who using Jenkins, please install that plugin. Okay. So that's it. So any questions? Uh, what kind of sound do you want? Like playing some... Uh, help me, help me. I think it's possible. It's possible. So uh, we need to change. Uh, as I remember, there there is one. We need to change the, the chip inside as well. Uh, there's uh, another chip that's uh, sup supposed to that can have to play some MP3 uh, as well. You can record the sound, the voice, your voice there, and you can play. It's not so difficult. Any other questions? Yeah. You said like how the scale sound with the new Jenkins like pipeline kind of terminologies and concepts. Basically, it's for the GitHub like where you can build all your branches <coughs> just with one integration with the GitHub or folder, and the status is like reflected on your repositories and your pull requests. So how it will scale out with that kind of can, can you repeat your question again? I didn't get it. Uh, so my question is like, um, 
the GitHub and the Jenkins yeah. application. So now they are coming with the new world, like pipeline, I am kind of kind of concept. So it can be done all of the GitHub <coughs> the branches. Yeah. And the rest of us can be prepared on the branches that we talk about. So some teams who are using in that configuration, how this particular thing scales out with those GitHub. So we are still binding with the, with the, with the job. Which yeah, yeah. So, so the idea is that um, uh, the our project for right now is to get uh, more and more complicated. It's getting more and more complicated. So, uh, but we uh, still uh, the idea of agile team is uh, building something small. So we try to uh, decouple our system module wide, so that we do something small. Uh, so for this unit to be uh, done within a team size. And uh, for uh, for uh, some big, in a bigger bigger scale, we can do this like uh, integration for for the whole product, for example. So in my company, uh, we do uh, quite a huge product uh, for a telecommunication company, uh, very big company. So uh, the the system is very big. So when I jump into the project, I don't know where should I do, where should I go, because it's too big for me. Um, and uh, it, within a team, we can use this, but uh, for for it's like for the company uh, department scale, we have like thousand people. Not only uh, in our company, but the other provider of the of the customer as well. So around thousand of people. So we need to uh, make some web portal for that integration as well. And it's run. Uh, it's so very detailed about uh, the integration, and also um, this will uh, show tell you uh, uh, which not will be failed because we, we we build the system based on a lot of not a bunch of not uh, of server. Yeah. So. Uh, this device is the uh, only way uh, make request to the Jenkins server to ask what is the state of the thing? Uh, uh, not really. Uh, so uh, in, in Jenkins, uh, it has an API mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, they uh, public the site up via the API. Mm -hmm. uh, so this one is just connect to uh, the internet. And when the Jenkins uh, change their state up, it's with uh, push the hook uh, to this device. Yes. So uh, it's configured. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, running via HTTP. So can we have like uh, two different LEDs, uh, like current status is OK, like green, and then it builds that way? Uh, actually, it's possible. It's possible to do that, but uh, we just want to make it simple, like red and green. So your code is great, and your code is <laughs> Yeah. What uh, programming language do you use? Uh, so uh, in the, uh, for ESP A two double six, we use uh, kind of C plus C plus plus, but it's it's use the same library with Arduino, Arduino library, but it's look like C plus plus. Uh, connected from a Jenkins to uh, we think there will be a day one running on the computer that sends it to the device itself. So how does that actually work out? Uh, pardon? Like how does it actually uh, you know how do you connect Jenkins to the device itself? So uh, Jenkins and the device uh, will connect via Wi-Fi. Uh, uh, is there some program running as well? Um, uh, Jenkins already uh, provide that uh, API. So in Jenkins they have the API. Uh, to uh, public the, the Jenkins status. Uh, so uh, this is what we just need to do some programming on the device uh, so that uh, the device can call to that I, I API. And uh, we uh, we put some configuration on the website that I showed you before. It's like the URL and the job name. So the device know where should this call. So it's just calling the REST API? The yeah, the REST API. Is that the one? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, Jenkins is quite interesting. The UI is not so pretty, 
it's, it's okay. It's acceptable, and it's uh, the most important thing is it's free. Okay. Any other questions? Anybody want to buy it? How much will it cost? How much will it cost? Oh, I, I, I forgot to mention. So uh, the the whole cost uh, for the material, I think, is around twenty five years. Then we have to make a filter for this also, not just for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We need to put the box on it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I I still want to make some improvement about the device. Uh, and after that, maybe we can. Uh, we 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 are thinking about uh, putting uh, to the open source because our company is, uh, also contribute uh, for some open source project. So we love to do that. So this is uh, is like the project we uh, do it for fun. Okay, it's not our business. Okay, so thank you so much.